What is going on everybody? Welcome back today for a way overdue video. We have basically stopped YouTube. Been raising my little boy, been hanging out with the family, been was working a lot. We went on vacation. I didn't video any of it really, but um, just kind of been hanging out really. Boat has been broke since my last video that I actually posted that was actually a video. I think that I have now made more payments on my boat broke than I have actually made payments on it while it was running. So, matter of fact, I know I have. So it broke in February. I think I bought it in January and it broke late February. And it's been at the, it's been at the shop ever since. So there you have it. We just don't have a boat. And uh, seeing that I, mostly all I do is fish in the summertime. I have got caught up on some honeydews. We replaced the flooring in my house, which I didn't video any of that. I ran my electric line finally all the way out to my shop, <clears throat> um, buried it underground. I didn't video any of that. Um, replaced all the flower beds. I did video that. Um, I might be able to throw a video together on it. We'll put it together at some point. Just haven't done it yet. It's been hot and just haven't felt like doing anything. But today, boom, we're going to go over this. The Cellucor Bushnell A20. I got three of these things sent to or They wouldn't get sent to me. I actually purchased these. But um, I've always been a fan of the Bushnell wireless aggressor. And they have changed the cell phone connection over to the... Okay, so they went from 3G over to 4G, so my old trail cameras no longer work. So anyways, we're gonna unbox this thing, take a look at it, then we're gonna take it out, put it out. I'm gonna take a little bit of my special mixture with Kool-Aid and stuff that I got. I've made a video previously on it. If I can find it or figure it out, I'll put it on an iCard right up here. You can go check it out. Basically mixed up a Kool-Aid mixture. It's, it's basically a mineral lick that attracts deer and uh, works really well. So we're gonna go try to stick some of it out and we'll probably put out a bag of corn. Looks like this one comes with an antenna. The wireless aggressor did not have an antenna. And something to strap it to the tree with. Won't be using that. We'll be locking it through here with the chain lock so no one steals it. I don't know that even if someone did steal it though, they'd be very disappointed. So I'm pretty sure that it sends GPS locations, which I know it does. All right, so first initial thought, I didn't get the camo ones, I just sent these out. Because I had the wireless aggressors, um, they offered me a promo on these because I was a loyal subscriber, customer, paying my, um, just come with a fee, they're wireless, they're like 10 bucks a month. And because I was, a I was a loyal subscriber to them. They offered me these. I think I got them for like 79 bucks a piece. My old ones, the wireless aggressor, did have a viewing camera port, which I never used on it, but it was easy to set it up. But it looks like this right here. We're looking for a green connection. So let's see what we got far as batteries go. It's gonna take 12. It takes 12. 12 AA batteries. I don't know that I got those types of goods store and get them all right so basically it's pretty simple right here once you turn it on there's going to be these three little lights you'll want these to light up and it looks like you want them all to be green once you're all green you're all good so we're going to download the bushnell app i don't have it right now i got a new i did get a new phone the ipro 13 max pro but I hate this case. You can't video with this phone. This, this case sucks. The camera quality is terrible in this case. Amazing outside of the case, but terrible in this case. All right, so anyways, let's uh, see if we can get some batteries in this thing and see if we can get some green light. So we lucked out. I have six. And if this thing is anything like my old camera, six should run it. So, um... Let's put them in here. So we're going to find out whether or not this actually works 
with just half the battery pack my old one used to. Um, looks like it's going to because it has basically two power sides and then the middle looks like the negative so or it could be pop power in the middle and the negatives on the other side not really sure how that one works i'd have to take it apart to look at it i'm not going to do that so let's put this back together it basically just locks down in here and i'm just going to turn the power on and it is blinking battery life is green all right, now we got a problem. We gotta download the Bushnell Wireless Aggressor app. Let me download this Bushnell Wireless Aggressor app here. This is an AT&T um, trail camera. I think they had uh, another brand for Verizon or something. I don't remember which two brands they had, but I use AT&T, so I know I got good service on that. All right, as soon as this downloads, we are logged in. Boom. Okay. I'm going to log in, click the camera icon. I'm going to add can. It says first. I'm just going through this step by step here. So I'm to register and subscribe. We're going to hit start, scan QR code. And so, boom. And then pops up this. This is where you get to activate your free plan, which you will see. First 30 days are free. It says it right there. So let's activate. So they went up in price. I'm hoping, hoping I can just pay however much it is and it'll work with all my cameras and it'll just go off that plan and I can up the packages. I don't, I'm not sure how that works, but I got to put some card information in. So let me do that and I'll get back to you. So now we are flashing green. I think we have to connect to the camera. So let's do that. It has this wake up function now that I've got it all set up and connect there and cellular signal still searching so it'll find it when we get out to the tree but all right there we go we're good oh we got cellular signal camera status we're good all right let's go set this thing out all right sorry to interrupt this video for this brief commercial break but i had somebody sponsor the channel that sent a um item i have to talk to you guys about it is this is the fiaci v30 red dot site and they sent this thing to me to try out on my ar-15 i haven't actually got to go out and try it yet but just out of the package just looking at this thing it is sweet it has great let's see if i can turn the power on see if y'all can see that through there it's got a laser laser dot laser dot sight. This thing will work great on my AR-15. I just haven't got to go out and shoot it yet, and I'm so happy that they sent it to me. This thing is so nice. All right, I'll show you guys right now on Amazon. It's on sale. It's thir marked down 13%. It's $66.99. Um, not too bad for um, a real little red dot sight um, just for going out and shooting. Um, I know that they work great. They have sent me other products in the past, and Fiaci makes some good inexpensive uh, parts for your AR-15 and they are fun to go out and use. Um, but this thing, I will overlay some pictures here, has a one hour auto off and on. So if you don't use this thing for an hour, it will shut the battery off so it doesn't run the battery down. Um, here's all your dimensions as far as the profile. Okay, it has the low profile height and it has the absolute co-witness height, which that has the ability to, to shoot with your, um, your sights. So you can leave your sights on and use, use your sights too, or you can use the red dot sight. It has the protruding cap design so you can adjust your sights in the field. So when you're out shooting, you don't, if you forget your screwdriver, you can use the cap to adjust it right, left, up and down. And this is what all it comes with. It came with a couple extra batteries and all the stuff that's here. It's a pretty awesome little sight. I'm glad they sent it to, to me. Thanks, Fiachi. There will be a link down in the description. And, um, can't wait to do more business with them. So if you guys would go check them out, maybe purchase y'all some gun stuff. And um, this works really good for airsoft stuff also. They're really good with airsoft, um, works with airsoft guns and AR-15s, whatnot. So I don't have an airsoft gun, but I do have an AR-15 and it's too hot to go out and shoot right now. So that's why we haven't put this thing on and actually went out and put it to the test, but we will come fall. So go check it out. Now back to the video. All right, so we made it down here. I've got help. We um, came in and mowed. I brought the mower down here. I've already done all that. I didn't bring the kids down here for that, but we 
the Brooklyn wanted to drive the Ranger and I wanted the air conditioning. So we had an issue over here. So this was my old trail camera and it was right here and it was latched to this and um, that thing grew so big that the lock grew into the tree. So we had to bring a generator right there. I got a little cameraman helping me, so. So, we got that off. We had to bring the generator down here with the grinder, cut it off, so here we are. We're down here now, turning this on here. It's hot. We're gonna hope that somebody don't steal this camera until I can get down here and get a lock on it. I've never had any issues with that one. I've never even seen anybody here on camera, but I have had cameras stolen. <gasps> Who comes out here anyway? I don't know. All right, so we got her turned on. Brooklyn, do you think you could get in my car, put it in drive, and just pull it forward and then put it back in park? How much? Have you ever done it before? No. What's time you learn? I'm not driving. <clears throat> it's not a car. I drive right, we're gonna watch the her. car before. Do you, do you, uh, you have a key? I drive a duck boat by myself before. Actually, when I was little, and I got my lollipop back, and then I went. Don't move it around fast. Okay. It was a car. Don't get too close. Don't get too close to him either. Okay. I want to get in. No, I think we should all just wait. So. Move back, guys. Okay, let's move back, girls. Brooklyn can jerk this car. My sister is learning how to drive right now, and she's only 10. Woo! Go, Brooklyn! With a door open. <laughs> wow. Hey, we're getting driving lessons. Hey, can I go up there? No, you better not. Up there? Yeah, I'm going to take that down. It's not a good spot. It's too close. We're going to have to find a different tree. The deer, they'll circle this and come in down here when the wind's blowing that direction. And I'm going to try to get a hay bale blind and put it out here. What's a blind? So that hay bale right there? Yeah. I'm going to make a blind that looks like a hay bale. Wow, that's cool. And then you can sit inside of it. Woo! All right, well, that's doing that. Let's uh, put this stuff out. All right, so... What we're gonna do today, we brought rice bran, corn, and, and what is it? That's where the girls put the corn. Yeah. yeah. Okay. My mineral sites been hitting, they've been hitting it. I'm out of mineral on it. You can still see some of it on the ground, but. Well, Do they eat that? They lick it. Salt. Do they poop? That's raccoon or something. So by pouring this on here, if it rains, it'll leach into this tree. I usually have blocks sitting on here, but they've ate it all. Alright, so this rice bran, it hasn't rained, hasn't rained here in forever, so it's gonna rain now that I'm putting this out, so anytime I put rice bran out it rain. Is it heavy? And what happens if it doesn't? That's cool and satisfying on the camera. Satisfying on camera, huh? Yeah. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Trying to make all these deer hunters satisfied. This is just rice bran. Got it on sale at Orsland's for $8. And you're correct, this is corn. We're just going to dump it on top of it. Dumping it on top, I guess. Yeah, it's trust corn. That was satisfying whenever I was it and then Yeah. <laughs> Secret concoction I had left over from last year. Can I pour it? Kool-Aid. Kool-Aid! Kool-Aid. Yay. Just pour it. Yay, pink. It's pink. Mm -mm, no, it's got salt in it. Ew. 
There's a mixture. That is one oh, heck of a concoction. Cool. All right, that's all we got right now. Let me check the camera, check my position on everything because I got to use my phone to do that. And we'll get back with you in just a minute. Let the kids practice their driving. All right, so we didn't finish the video out yesterday. Um, I didn't pick it back up after I videoed the girls driving out of the pasture, but um, just kind of wanted to give it a little bit of time. I was hoping some deer would find the camera last night so I could throw some uh, pictures in um, to do a little bit of, um, I guess, a review on the photo quality, but I didn't request any high resolution photos. So we got some pictures of me and the girls all down around the um, feeder and stuff and then last night I did have a raccoon come in so I got I did get some nighttime photos of a raccoon and a possum and then yesterday I didn't I failed to cut down one of the um, there's a thorn bush down there and it had one limb that kept blowing right over in front of the camera it keeps setting it off I'm gonna have to go back out there and trim it down because it keeps setting it off but um, I did get some daytime photos of nothing um, and then I also got some of us more putting the camera up so I'll show those to you right now. All right, so I labeled this camera the feed station because this camera is going to stay right here where it's at permanently pretty much. And um, I feed here mostly year round. I haven't fed the past couple of months, but mainly it's because the corn costs are just phenomenal. And I've also been really busy. So kind of took a little break from feeding, but we're back at it again. It's July. Um, as you can see, 725, 2022. Uh, season doesn't start until October 1st, so we got a few months to kind of get some uh, photos in of some deer. Um, we'll go on to the next picture. Here's another one of us. Matter of fact, I will request this one in high def. This one is gonna be high def. It's me and the girls. We're just setting it up. I'm trying to get the angle calculation just perfect, but as you can tell, the picture quality, I mean, it's pretty good for not, for just being a standard definition cell phone photo. I ended up lowering it down though, which you'll see here in the next video. Here is that limb that came out. It's the one that keeps setting the camera off. You can see I lowered, lowered it down so I could actually get my pile of uh, rice bran and corn and stuff. Then, We'll get into the late afternoon photo. We had a raccoon come in here right before dark. And then we'll go on to the actual nighttime photos. So raccoon came in at 2.15 a.m. One of these I requested a high def on, so this one. So this one I was sending for a high resolution picture. That was at 2217. The nighttime photos doesn't show a whole lot, but it um, it did clear it up a little bit, I, I do believe. All right, so that's all the pictures that I got. Um, I just had it out yesterday evening um, and then last night. So we didn't, the deer haven't found it yet. When they do, we'll do a little update and do some photo updates on it. But um, so far the Cellucor Bushnell camera, I like it. it. It seems to be doing just as good as the old uh, Bushnell wireless aggressor, which I really like. The thing about this, um, the Cellucor, I think you get all the, like when you pay the $14.99, it doesn't matter um, how many high resolution pictures you want to request, it's just unlimited. So when a picture comes through, if you want to see it in high def, you can just request a high resolution photo. Also, it will send 10 second videos. So if I get some deer coming into the feeder and I got some bucks I'm wanting to watch um, feed, I can, I can request high resolution 10 second videos. So, but that is all I got for you guys today on this video. Um, kind of turned it into a little bit of a vlog. I know a lot of people don't like that, but um, I was out with the girls doing some things. So um, hanging out with them is more important than me making you guys happy. So that is how that, this video is gonna go and that's the direction it went. So hope you guys enjoyed. And that is all we got for you. So if you would, please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, and share the video. Um, helps me out if you will. So thanks for all I got for you guys.